Okay guys, Akumaldo Crypto here with another update for Bitcoin. Today we had a huge bump, right? A lot of people are gonna be really happy because this resistance here was not nothing, right? We just broke through it and that was it. My count, okay, let's talk about my bearish count which I think it's pretty much pretty much invalid why because we have this C here uh, okay even though me saying that we could we could reach this minus 6180 see this is my short I said that we could reach this region we could okay I said that okay we have the, here an over target we might get to this region. I, I wasn't sure, of course. I just uh, it could. Yes, this can be a. And um, let's take a look at our EMA. Yes, it's it, now we are above the 21, above everything. We had a cross here. Yes, the short term looks like bullish. Ma but what we should what we should consider when we are using Elliott waves is that it's not the it's not this wave in um, in isolation we need to take into account what happened before so what happened before is is that we had this huge downtrend okay this huge motive impulse wave down one of course we had a correction and then we have another impulse down we have an a b c here okay inside of this a here you might argue that we had a, uh, an ending here diag I, I i don't i don't know if we had an ending diag nah nope but I have been saying this that I have been telling you guys that this structure here is corrective rather than impulsive rather than motivate rather than a motive okay why because in the, according to the Elliott wave pre, Elliott waves principle we can either have a corrective or a motive wave okay what is a motive wave is when we have a wave that establish a trend something like going up here okay and oh it's often uh, if it's a motive wave we need to have um, five waves up okay this is a motive wave we have two kinds of motive waves we have impulses or diagonal okay three four five okay here we have a, a trend okay here we have okay and we establish here a a trend that we need to correct okay this is more or less, more or less it's like a diagonal right if we look at it and an impulse wave we would have something like this what is the difference between the impulse and the leading diagonal okay when we have a leading diagonal we have something that is more like this the wave 4 is almost retraced into the region of wave 1 Okay. and then we have a wave 5 that is short is shorter than wave 3 and then we have here a diagonal okay we can um, we draw here like a diagonal this is something that okay this is a a leading diagonal okay some sometimes we have a leading diagonal in a corrective mode like I said that we had here okay a, a, a wave a but it was corrective rather than impulsive rather than actionary but for the most of time we have something like this okay if we are talking about a diagonal okay and we can have an impulse wave an impulse wave it's something like um something like this okay according to the Elliott wave principle okay wave two retracing to roughly 618 and then we have wave three is so it's, it's the most likely to extend and then we have a wave uh, <clears throat> our wave five okay um 
and then wave four does not retrace to the area of wave two and then we have a the by the book motive impulse wave okay it can go either up or down let me show you guys here at the book uh, let me go to uh, okay uh, oops it's chapter one guidelines of wave formation go let's go oh now it's going come on do what I want oh damn it okay I'm gonna find it it's funny the way I'm gonna find it here okay one two three this is uh, you see you have a motive the basic pattern right motive one two three and then corrective a b c so we have numbers and letters we use letter for the corrective phase and for the motive we use numbers basic structure again but this is not what i want to show you guys what i want to show you guys is uh, okay in a bull market we might have something like this an extended wave one in a bear market an extended wave one first wave extension third wave extension this one is the the most likely to happen uh, an extended wave three an extended wave five here we have it okay and an extension not identified this is a rare case okay those are the examples okay um, then we need to understand this is a motive impulse wave okay this is uh, one two three four five one of the waves most of the time is extended okay Th those we have some examples of incorrect counting yes in this case we have a one that, that is extended but we have a four that is below the level of wave one and here we have uh, a wave three that is shorter then wave one and five with and wave three cannot be the shortest okay and in this case we have a one two one two and three four five here is a case uh, of a one two one two three four five this is a higher degree okay um okay we can have truncation yes what is a truncation is when the wave five does not uh, goes th does not go beyond the level of wave three this in a bear market or in a bull market okay okay so enough enough of books for now okay what might have what might have happened in bit what might what might have happened uh for bit in, in in bitcoin that i am uh, that might that I'm not I might not be accounting in this in this scenario here in this bear scenario okay um, because this is not an impulse we, uh, I'm sorry I, this is not a one two three four five this is not a, an, a, the end of the correction here uh, it's difficult to come of course I, I am open to different to different ideas but even when we have such a a breakout like this nah, uh, we need to measure it right we because this b here if we uh it, it, this b is gonna be th this b here um it's gonna be to it's gonna correct this c it's gonna um end the trend in this c if i am correct in this according to this bear count okay and I don't rem and don't forget that this count the uh, this lower low here is on bitstamp only okay we had a lower low on bitstamp <clears throat> what i was considering is that something wait a sec um okay first before anything i would like to show you guys that this is something that is that caught a lot of people attention not I have I have presented this before right that we had a uh, inverted head and shoulders happening and this this pattern the uh, this count here is 
interesting. A truncated fifth wave, okay? Three, four, five. A truncated fifth wave. So if we are to allow something like a, berry, a bullish count, we need to solve this problem here. We need to solve this problem. Okay, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to break. Um, I don't want to violate the the Elliott wave rules and use the rules uh, the way I want. You need to. If you are, you, you need to be consistent. Don't we? Don't we? We need to be consistent. So this is one, two. Three, this is gonna be a, an extended three, four. Um, I'm sorry. No, this is our three. This is our four, because then we can have the same structure that I said. Okay, we can have this A, B. This is a a long B, C, a C ending diag. Three, 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 three. three. Okay, so let's label it. This is an A, this is a B, and a C. This B can go high, uh, lower than B. In this case, we are on bit Phoenix, okay? But just in case, we, if, we, if you change to uh, Binance, it's gonna be lower, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna have a lower low, and B can be lower than A. It can expand, okay? And in this case, C is going up, so we have a flat correction, okay? An expanded correction. A, B going higher, and C, okay? Um, nice, and then we have this wedge here that we have uh, we have discussed like a lot. Yes, it's a three, 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 three pattern, okay? At mainly in diag, okay, we finish our four here. Then this, I'm sorry. This really nice one, two, three, four, five wave here. This would be our five. Okay. This is one way. Okay. One way of uh, understanding this count as something. Uh, this is one way of allowing this uh, B here, uh, allowing this lower low here. And this correction here, okay, it's again a correction, okay, uh, an A, B, C. This is a, a leading, uh, ending diagonal, three, 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 a four. And then we finish this five here is a truncated fifth, okay. This is not going to be a normal fifth. It's going to be a truncated fifth, truncated fifth, fifth wave, okay. It's, it's okay, it's allowed. Uh, we we're not supposed to allow for truncation when we uh, without having data and uh, without having enough data but we have enough data don't we so we know that this might be a five because we have a, a clear structure here that let me uh, let me just change the degree of this wave is some minute and put minute okay because it's uh, in this one here, oh, it's micro, okay, let me put it, so me know it, okay, this is better, okay, uh, sorry, let me take this out as well, just to have a clear picture, what A, B, C, we have a 4, so now, let's us figure out, this is not what's going on, if we have this, this is our fourth wave, and then our fifth, truncated fifth wave, if we have the count like this, so then we have something like this happening, okay? It's the same count, okay, guys? I have presented this count before. We have our three here, our four, our, our four going on here, and then our fifth wave that I said, truncated wave fifth, trun truncated fifth wave, support lowest low of the year, perhaps a lower low. Here I pointed uh, the decreasing of volume that was um, that was go now it's not decreasing of course we have this breakout but we had this kind of before those two peaks of uh, sell 
we had a uh, 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 the volume has been had been declining, and now it we had the we had this breakout, which is pretty characteristic, okay, of uh, of this pattern here, inversion hand and shoulder, hmm, which is nice. So this scenario might be in play. Yes, I am bullish. Hmm. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Let okay. Let's let let's get back to this count here. But uh, it is one hour. This is daily. Okay, guys. It's one hour. So then we have this uh, weird wave one. Weird wave one. Weird. Finish again. One, two. Now actually, let me take this out as well. I'm gonna remove those marks. Let's measure it, okay? This is our fifth wave. Let's measure. This is the beginning of, the, the end of the fifth wave, the beginning of, uh, the end of our first wave, and then our wave two. Let's see, let's see where it goes. Yeah, we haven't reached the desired spot for our wave three, but we have pretty much uh, left, right. Just, I think it's gonna be easier to see. 127, 127, 20 of uh, but in this case though, Wave 3 is longer than wave 1, but wave 5 would be extended, okay? It will be like 300. Let's see, here is our 260, mm, That's 3. No, it's more. 4. Damn, it's a lot. It's... Hmm. Yes, this is not cool. All right. If we allow, this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, because we don't have a return. At this moment, remember, uh, yesterday when we were looking at this point here, I, I was thinking about it and saying, mm, this is a strange kind of pattern here. <laughs> yes. So, this looks like a tree, it can be a tree, I would say that here was our tree, we're trying to break it and then we had this, or this is our one, it's difficult to count this impulse here, this, this, if, if you, if you count like this, one, two, three, four, five, it's a motive impulse wave, okay, hard, hard to, Indeed, yes. Let let let's see. Um, okay, we have the wave three here, four, five. Here we have a truncated fifth, and then we have this whole one, two, or we can have a one, two here. Let's measure. Okay, let's measure. Perhaps our wave one here. This is part of our wave three. So this is wave one, wave. Nah. It doesn't look nice as well. Yeah? Let's see, two hundred sixty-one. Ah, it's above two hundred. If we say that this is a one, and this is a two, okay? Looks like A B C. This is a. This is it's 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 an it's not a, a an impulse it, it doesn't look like a, a one two three four five inside this one it's looked like one two three uh, abc then we have this strange two because we had this deep a b c okay it's clear i can i can tell you that and we have this three four then we have this five uh, let me see this this wave three here yeah 
yeah we have touched the 127 20% so wave 5 would be the ex would be the longest here if we have this wave this wave 5 would have a, a wave 1 of a higher degree okay would have a Uh, this is Suminuet. It's okay, Suminuet. This one is. I don't remember the band. This is some micro. Let me Suminuet. No, no, oops, sorry. This should be micro. Yeah, no, okay. Um, this is right. Okay. Yeah, doesn't really makes me happy, but I'm not here to be happy, right? I'm here to evaluate and, and calculate what the market is showing to us so uh, uh, so we broke this resistance this is clear and now it's actually it's acting as a support okay uh, and now i need you to start thinking like i said i i said when we broke uh, i said to someone on twitter uh, I would start considering a bullish count uh, if and only if we br we break the the resistance and we broke. So <laughs> I thought that back then, and then I am considering a, a bullish scenario. So now, if we are thinking about a retracement, I do think okay that this is a, a motive impulse wave. Okay, no matter what we are saying. If we count this as a, as corrective, we need to, of course, it's a motive impulse wave inside the a wave C, because this is a, a A B C. If we want A B C. Oh, let okay. Let's let's think about it for a second. Okay, if we are to think about um, this is going to be our region. Okay, so and we have some. Uh, of course previous resistance is going to act as support so then we would start uh, thinking about buying here okay around this the fifth percent retracement six seven hundred okay six eight hundred i would start laddering if we are bearish okay if we are i'm sorry bullish if we have this count right if we are going up okay if and only if we are going up and then we have some targets here right uh, for our wave three for our wave five here we have some targets until we have this retracement here and then uh, a movement upwards to try to break this this highest point here this this highest price we don't we can't see that we have indeed a uh, uh, an impulse a motive impulse wave we have here what seems to be uh, a motive impulse wave up yes we, we break a lot of resistance here and it's what's going to happen next is that it's a retracement it, it's lost it's uh, it's really high on the on the RSI all the sign shows that we are now going down but it's a retracement no, we, now we have an ABC here. We need to see that if we have something like an ABC. Okay, something like this. Okay, a zigzag kind of... A zigzag kind of uh, correction. Uh, let me take this out here. Make it clear. Then we, we can start uh, drawing some pitchforks, some channels okay this is a this is one possible bullish count okay if we take if we allow for this truncated fifth it's okay it's it's not a problem uh, i'm not violating the elliott wave principle and then we have this one two three four five wave it's a bit unclear here the waves but i can see the behavior of the wave it's impulsive okay it's a motive impulse wave it's not the diagonal it's a motive impulse 
and now we need to wait for wait for this retracement okay um, and we have uh, this lot to cover right until if we are assuming that this is daily and this is the inverted hand and shoulder this is the size of the head okay the size of the head when we break the pattern okay a simple measure of uh, how long it's uh, how far it's gonna how high it's gonna go is just to take the its measure from the neckline to the top of the head here and you go here and and you see it start you put starting on start at the neckline here and here we go here you go we have 8k okay it's a prediction it's a it's a forecast it might not go there and if it goes there it, it's it's going to challenge this 200 EMA here yes it's it's kind of an um, interesting thing this is a scenario that I'm gonna pay a lot of attention a lot of attention and now especially now we need to consider we need to pay attention to this retracement yes because you're not going to enter here FOMO in uh, and start buying now no wait for the retracement wait guys if you're like me I was expecting a bear I was I was I was I was, I was expecting a, a bearish movement and then okay it didn't happen I took my loss and uh, if I was shorting I you need to have your stop losses and then you wait you wait for a retracement okay the market is not the market doesn't happen one day only it's gonna happen tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and so on okay if, if we if we are wrong tomorrow we, we might be right okay um, do uh, uh, we might have finished wave five here and have an ABC here it's it's fine just let me just give you guys an, just another scenario let me measure first we have an A here oh damn this is an A One hundred twenty-seven, one hundred twenty-seven twenty for a wave C. This is this would be our retracement, but this doesn't look like a wave A. This doesn't look like a wave B. First of all, this is not a wave B. Uh, and I I saw some analysts use uh, saying this is an A B C. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't agree with this. A B and C. It doesn't look like it. it the, the symmetry is completely um, strange. It doesn't look like it. I, I, if I am to to go and and say that this is going uh, up, and we have a bullish a uh, 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 a trend reversal for this moment, okay, for this moment, imagine that we we are still going to get to this B here, okay, we are still going to get to some of this region, and perhaps perhaps go down again or perhaps we break here okay remember this is wave e and we break out of the e normally but as i said the as i said in my as i have been saying this this correction might take longer than we think okay and then it, we might need more time to correct this whole impulse here okay um so this is um this is my count this is this is not my primary count I, i'm gonna sleep on it and i'm gonna think about it i'm gonna see if i if i am uh if i have something else here okay if we can if i can spot some kind of a of a of of a of an alternate count that is bearish because this is a bullish one at least for the for the present moment yes it's i think it's gonna it's gonna go higher perhaps this is 9k it's almost 9k oh okay for the moment let's wait for this retracement it's 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 gonna retrace i don't think 
it's gonna go another wave up without retracing okay it, it, this was a huge move huge movement up okay a lot of uh, of buy pressure okay a lot this is our target one of our targets what we might consider higher targets okay as um, as always guys uh, thank you very much for your for your uh, attention and if you like subscribe and those are my my social media uh, my social media um, <laughs> websites and here below you have my my links in the description thank you very much and we see each other next one later guys bye bye cheers